Hello, I'm Matthias. And my name is Anaïs. And, And today, today we're presenting, presenting you oyster filtration. filtration. What do you think when you think about oysters? You'll probably think about necklaces of oysters' pearls and food. Both rather expensive. But oysters are more than that. You know, there's a lot which pollutes our oceans, especially chemicals and oil. So scientists thought about the problem, and then a New Yorker scientist made an interesting observation. It has something to do with the sea. He saw oysters and was amazed by their ability to filter water. They filter the cloudy sea water and the water gets clear. As a consequence, why shouldn't they filter oily and polluted water? You see how the water gets clearer? The oysters take up algae, detritus and pollutants, and the output is clean water. Consequently, oysters are biofiltered. But how do they do that? Firstly, they take up the water with their gills. To transport much water to the oyster, the gill arc, which is the outer border of the gill, creates a circular current with their lashes. On top of the gill arc, there's a slimy, sticky layer created. The detritus, agea and pollutants attach to this layer and are transported to the mouth with the help of the little lashes. Here are some important facts in addition. Oysters can filter 25 liter an hour and about 200 liter a day, which is more than technical filter systems can achieve. To have a raw idea how much water this is, imagine a water butt. Pollutants are not dangerous for them except for some heavy metals. But the pollutants can be dangerous for human beings. The idea behind these big filters is to make reefs for oysters in big rivers to clean the water. But the reefs are still very expensive. Still, we hope that there are many projects with oyster filtration in future.